Hi, welcome everybody and welcome home with us. Yes. We are going to do a video today on what to pack for mm -hmm. Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure here in Orlando, Florida. Yeah. So we didn't want to drag everything <laughs> that we're going to be talking about to the parks. So we're just going to say, hey, welcome home with us and let's get started. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started to show you what we pack all the time and things that we bring during different seasons of the year because it's different what we pack in July than what we're going to pack in February when we look at the weather and wake up and see that it's 42 raining sideways. So It, it always changing on us, it, it really is. Um, and the fact that it being Florida, our seasons are a little different. <laughs> yeah, so I grew up in the Midwest and the Florida weather is so different. So if you are going to, during a weird time of the year where you know it's not, it may not be 100 degrees, uh, stay tuned. We'll talk about different weather and how to pack for that soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is something to carry your stuff in. Well, I don't have a backpack. Oh, you don't have a fanny pack? Oh, you're not with the cool kids, man. No, no I'm not. <laughs> yes, you can bring a backpack. <laughs> we'll talk about that in just a second. We'll show you what our backpacks look like, mm. but for rides like Hagrid's, Forbidden Journey, um, there's just a lot of rides where you don't have to put your stuff in a locker if you have one of these three pronged fanny packs. See the, see the three three prongs? And you just go, boop, yay. <laughs> so you're allowed to wear this on the ride as long as you know the restraints can still come down. It's not like in the way, hanging off your neck to the side. Mm. And that'll save you some time trying to get a locker at Hagrid's for sure. But if you're gonna be there all day, that's probably not gonna fit everything you need. So let's go ahead and show you what our backpacks that we carry almost every single time we go look like. Yep, I am the backpack guy, the backpack guru, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right, so I love this backpack. I ended up getting it from the Universal Store, right? I want to say. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's a uh, Universal Studios. Mm-hmm. I can fit a lot of things in here. I love the fact that it's got like these little cushions on the straps. Yes. So it's a little easier on the shoulders. So I've worn this a couple times, and as a lady, what I appreciated was that it's comfortable on my shoulders because you know you got these big, big shoulder muscles. <laughs> yeah. I don't, and it's still really comfortable to wear. So this is my proud Amazon find. It's a lounge fly. It's got really good padded straps. Um, it's got big pocket in there. And the, the mouth opens up and back. Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> I still find that the funniest <laughs> part. <laughs> There's a little pocket inside the mouth too. I find it funny when anytime she need anything out of the front pocket, she's like, "Why well, can you get in here?" And she's like, <laughs> she's like, "Can't get in the mouth." I, I just find it funny. Every oh, time. and there's side pockets too. I'm gonna recommend a lounge fly every single time for anybody, unless you're going to go ride water rides. Mm. So we have what we call wet bags but it, it's, they keep dry stuff inside, so it's a dry bag, but it can get wet, but it's waterproof, so it's a dry bag. So, even though it's called wet bag, it's, it's still a dry bag, because keep all your stuff there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Here we go. Boom. So, this is our dry bag. Oh, it is called a dry bag. Yeah, dry bag, yeah. Not wet bag, dry bag. Okay, it's a dry bag. <laughs> yeah. So, it, it's plastic and mm -hmm. you just take the top, put all your stuff in there. It can only go up to this line and mm -hmm. then you just roll it a few times and then you're gonna snap it closed with the three prong snapper. <laughs> and then yours is a backpack. Mine is just a one strap. Yeah, and they're not as comfortable, but it's really good when you wanna go on wet rides or if it's raining outside or any of that good stuff. <laughs> yeah, if you know that it's gonna be raining the whole time you're there, go ahead and maybe invest in one of these and get, they have something that you can get to go on top of this and then slide on like a pat shoulder pad onto this and that'll help a lot. 
So then just your shoulder pad will be wet. Everything inside your bag will still be dry. A Dudley do right in the Blue Dose Bill Dread Barge. Can never get that name down. You did it. <laughs> you just did it. On the first try. <laughs> so these are great, especially if you don't want to pay for a locker because any of the water rides that are inside of Islands of Adventure, you have to pay. I don't know how, exactly how much it costs. I think it's four or five dollars for 90 minutes. Last time we were there. Still a lot to rent for just like, what, a 30 minute? Depends on how long you get there waiting for the ride. Um, I would suggest getting one of these just so that we can keep all your expensive camera equipment or phones or anything like that that you want to keep safe from getting wet. We'll talk about the bags we like to use. Let's talk about what we put in them. Okay. The first thing we always take, even if we're just going for a couple hours, is a water bottle because water is expensive. <laughs> Super expensive. I think it's like four dollars just for what I think it's the Sani. Yeah. Either way, it's still expensive for some water. <laughs> we love this water bottle so much. I accidentally uh, dropped it a couple times, so it's a little dented there, but. Nonetheless, it's still great. We got this inside of uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom in the Pandora Land. And um, yeah, it holds a lot of water. Holds a lot of water. And you put ice in it, it stays cold forever. So we really recommend say. getting a thermos. And a lot of people um, have asked me, you know, can, are you allowed to bring anything in? Is it like an airport where you have to dump all your stuff and fill it on the inside? No. We co-prepared, we pack it full of ice, we pack it full of water. Another thing that we always bring, and this doesn't necessarily go in the bag, but it's something that mm. you probably need to pack to bring with if you don't wear one every day. Sun is crucial. <laughs> this sun will eat you alive. So crucial. I've often thought about getting one of those like, it's not a sombrero, but it's like, I know you're talking about that yet. <laughs> but if you have one of those and you're not worried about, you know, maybe so much fashion and in, I, I don't know what they're called. It's like a gardener hat, like a fishing hat, but bigger. Anyway, bring a hat, bring something to cover your forehead, your nose, a little bit of your shoulders. The sun will eat you alive. Oh, this is my favorite hat. Yeah, you're always wearing a hat. Yeah. I <laughs> hardly, unless we're at a theme park, I know you guys always see us when we're at theme parks. Mm -hmm. But I, that's the only time I'm wearing a hat, so... That uh, also, an umbrella would be good for shade. Oh yeah. This is my UV umbrella. This is my UV lo lo lotion. <laughs> this size bottle in the park, if you forget your sunscreen, will cost you $22.50. <laughs> my um. heart dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your sunscreen. Grab a UV umbrella. We got... Oh, I also got this at Disney. But... <laughs> you got your umbrella at Disney too. I did too, but you all know that I love carrying around my cool sword umbrella. Yes. It is UV. We got both of these in the Japan Pavilion at Epcot. This one's a UV. That one's just really effing cool. Yeah. <laughs> and when it rains, it has a cool little hidden design. Yeah, mine too. Right there. Mine has like bunnies and flowers and yours has like cool symbols, so. I know this doesn't look like much, but this is one of the best way to stick. Cool. Why is this? Okay. <laughs> this is a little mini cooling towel. Yeah. I got these at the Dollar Tree. You can get them anywhere. They have big ones that are like scarves that you can drape over your head, your shoulders. Um, these, I don't know why they help. I, I don't know how they stay cool, but you get them wet, you drape them, they keep you cool. Uh, physics. Physics. <laughs> <laughs> grab your favorite umbrella, grab your favorite sunscreen, grab a hat, mm -hmm. grab a water bottle, stay cool. You're gonna need to probably bring some sort of hand sanitizer. We got these sanitizing wipes. And this isn't just during COVID, but people are gross. You bring your own little personal bottle of, uh, you know, hand sanitizer if you want, or you can bring a big one. I've seen it happen. <laughs> it used to be at the beginning of COVID, um, you would get hand sanitizer before every single ride. They, they would be like, okay, how many? Two, okay. Then they'd squirt you and then they would tell you where to go. Like you couldn't get a seat until you got that hand sanitizer in your hand. Um, and then walking up to the aisles, you would see on the ground people where they just went and they just flung it on the ground. Um, but if you like hand sanitizer and you don't wanna catch a cold, catch the flu, you know, get gross stuff on your hands from the kid that just went and then touch the railing. 
That happens all the time. It's so gross. And I'm bad about touching the railing. I really am. I. Me I, too. <laughs> I don't know why. I just want to like, because each railing is different. Like the wooden one and the mummy. Mm -hmm. and, and then there's one in Green Gods, and I'm like, yeah. I gotta touch it. I don't. Anyway, we Wait. touch lots of gross stuff all the time. We mm -hmm. always bring our wipes because, oh yeah, and at meal times, trying to find a table, you may find one that somebody's leaving, and then you gotta just sit down as soon as they leave, so you can have that table. Bring your wipes, wipe off the table, oh, yeah. you're good to go. That comes in handy. Yep. Masks are not required anymore. People who are not vaccinated should wear masks indoors. So you right. can bring masks. Um, if you're watching this and you're going to Disney thinking, oh yeah, you know, you can just, it's the same thing, you know, same weather. It is. Use these tips at Disney, but know that on their transportation right now, monorail, um, not the ferry boat, but Skyliner too. You have to have a mask, so you're gonna need one there. Yeah. Not at Universal, you're good. You can go without a mask, but bring ex extra masks. If you're going to be wearing one, you'll get sweaty. You'll go through masks like crazy. So um, Something that you're going to need when it's hot, when, when it might be mildly warm, when you might sweat even just a little. When you wear pants out in the summer, like I do sometimes. When, you, when you're a girl and you wear those shorts or those cute sundresses, <laughs> and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I look so cute. And then an hour later, you're like, oh my gosh, my thighs are on fire. So this is what Adarius uses. This is what I use. Yeah. This goes on all the parts that you think might get chafed. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it just helps it glide better. Does that help it glide better? This bad boy's a lifesaver. I'm just saying. I don't like to use that. You don't like to use deodorant. Find your anti-chafing cream that you like. Yes. Use it and bring it with to reapply. If, uh, if you know you're going to be at the parks all day and you love to be on your phone a lot, bring you a battery charger for your phone or for your camera. It's going to come in handy. It's a pretty good investment to get like one of those, uh, this only cost me like, it's black web, it only cost me like 30 bucks, but just one of those lasts me all day at the park. Um, it's something really neat and handy to have. Uh, Universal, Disney, they both have one, but it's like 30, 40 bucks for like a small cylinder, little tube thing. <laughs> No, this, this is definitely the best. This is the brand name Black Web. It gives you four charges per per thing. So we always have eight charges on us at all times. Mm -hmm. um, the fuel rods. Fuel rods, that's what they're called. Yeah. Yes, those little bad boys, only, they cost 30 bucks and you only get one charge out of it. So yeah. if you're going live or recording while using it, it might not be the best one to get. Yeah, so. <laughs> Um, fuel rods are around $30 for one-time purchase and then at Universal you can find little stations where you can buy a new one or you can just trade them out. I think it's three or four dollars though. Yeah. So then it's three or four dollars per charge on your phone. It's really expensive. Just bring the one from home and don't forget to bring a cord. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise. Not from personal experience. <laughs> what? Otherwise you're gonna sit there and look at your charger like, how can I charge my phone? <laughs> Maybe if I get some paper clips. <laughs> Sir, do you have a paper clip? <laughs> and this is for me and for anybody who gets a little motion sick. Gemamine, um, the little patches you put behind your ear, the little bracelet with the pressure points, a prescription from your doctor, whatever it is to keep you from getting sick and ruining your day, don't forget it. Also, um, Tylenol. Ibuprofen, a leave. Uh, bring it from home, put it in your bag, just toss it in there. That way, if you need it, it's there. It doesn't take up much space. Don't forget your allergy pills. Totally, do, do not forget those. Laura's <laughs> allergies are crazy. It's, I, it's bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, we always bring Benadryl into the park, and then before we go, we be sure to take, like I take Zyrtec, you take Allegra. Yeah. And so if, if you have a 24 hour pill, bring those, take those on schedule every day and bring some Benadryl just in case because like it's expensive in the park. You can find it, but it's expensive. So keep yourself organized. There's a lot of stuff in your bag. This is my thing that I keep cash cards in. And this is a very unique texture. So when I'm digging down in my bag, I'm feeling for this bag right here. Mm. One thing to note as well, I always keep cash or card on hand at all time. 
never really fully depend on Apple Pay just because the machine goes down sometimes or there's a certain area that doesn't take Apple Pay yeah. and then you're stuck. Yeah. Wondering how you're gonna pay for something you don't really have. Let's say you wanna head over to the water rides and um, have a little fun. You've brought your dry bag or you've rented that locker. Change, bring a change of pretty much everything. Um, I, I'll be honest, ladies, your bra is going to get soaked right down to the padding. Um, <laughs> everything on you will be wet after the water rides. Inside your ears, your belly button, everything. I promise. A done deal for me is wet socks. I, that's a deal breaker. I'll call it a day right there. <laughs> a done deal for me is when my feet start to hurt because my feet are so wet for like an hour straight. What I do is I bring some yoga sandals. This also works if it's gonna be a rainy day too. And these carabiners are a lifesaver. I just clip that on to my lounge fly strap and let it hang and change into it when I need. We also have water shoes. Found them. Yay, water shoes. These are good on our feet for about two and a half hours. After that, they're not comfortable. Okay, picture this. It's 2 p.m. You've been at the park since 7 a.m. for that early park entry, right? You've been sweating since at least 7.30. It's been six hours of sweat now. And now you're going to go change into your water clothes, right? Been doing this, a lot of sweat. Right, so then you're gonna put your sweaty clothes into a locker, put your water clothes on, and then come back and put your sweaty clothes back on? No, no, don't do that. Get on the water rides with your sweaty clothes and bring a change of clothes for after you're done. Also bring Walmart sacks, gallon bags, something waterproof to put your wet clothes in inside your bag. Because after you're done riding, after you're done with the water shoes, those now clothes are sweaty and wet with theme park water that smells kind of good, but kind of weird. So plan ahead, bring something to put your wet clothes in and bring a change of clothes. Socks, underwear, bra, everything. My, my go-to is basketball shorts. I don't know why, but basketball shorts at a theme park is the best. Nice, it's, airy, breezy. Yeah, cool. I mean, if it gets wet and you know you don't have a second pair of clothes, it, it'll still dry out quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> Athletic gear is really good for the parks, too. So, Something else to pack in your bag. Snacks or something for eating, drinking. We always bring our water bottle, but... Mm -hmm. A lot of people love these freestyle cups. This is something that we, we didn't purchase this. Um, we got this for free during last year's Universal Orlando annual pass holder days. They do this in August every year. We went to Today Cafe, bought a meal, and it said, hey, you get a free cup. And we were like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> Yay. So then I think we got like sweet tea. Um, oh, yeah. But this is a Coca-Cola freestyle cup. It has an RFID chip in the bottom. You can buy one. It's activated for the whole day when you buy it. All the freestyle machines, um, anything you want, yeah, all day long. And then you just pay to reactivate it the next day. So. Just keep in mind that when you're getting a drink and you don't like it, and you pour it out and try to get another one within like a certain amount of time, they will tell you you have to hold on right. for like five minutes or so yeah. until you can get a refill. Yeah, it's unlimited, <laughs> but there's a waiting period in between <laughs> your un unlimited beverages. So, yeah. Um, Pack this, if you're gonna do this. We we don't, we're not soda drinkers. If really we not. need a Gatorade, we just go purchase one and then we share it, so. Yeah. Um, but this, this however. You smell that popcorn? You're gonna be smelling so many good things. Yeah, you will. <laughs> and the refills for this are only a couple bucks. So once you buy this, $2, you've got a great snack. Yes, this will fit in the locker. This will fit in the locker. Uh, pour this out before you put it in the locker. What you do is you take the lid off and then you put it like this, then you gotta like, mm. Switch that bad boy in there. And then you just like pop it in there, so. Yeah, it should've cracked. Oh no, it's very pliable. It's just a little difficult, but um, bring a gallon sized bag to dump your popcorn into. That way you don't lose all your popcorn, cause, but pack other snacks too. Um, anything but chocolate, anything but, don't bring anything that'll melt. But that'll, you know, that's 
Please. Sometimes we pack a bag and put some snacks in it. If we know that today is a, you know, running short on money, just gonna go have fun and be as cheap as possible day. Get some chill mix, cereal, yeah. Yeah. peanuts, yeah. kind of stuff. You're not going in July. You're going in, <laughs> what, was, what day was that? February? It was like yeah. February 20th. It's always the beginning of the year. <laughs> I don't, January and February are weird because it's either like the best weather ever and it's 75 and the birds are singing and there's two clouds in the sky. Or like when we went in February and tried to take his parents and make something <laughs> nice and have a nice day. It was like misty, but it was a cold mist and it was like mm -hmm. 44 degrees and then the wind would blow and it would feel like 38 degrees and then the water would just stick to your face and then the wind would blow and then you'd be cold and then it would stick to your coat and then your coat got heavy because like, it was wet <laughs> and then it started raining and it was like <laughs> so <laughs> definitely pack for the weather so th th this guy i'm crazy will wear like shorts and maybe put on a jacket and he'd be like let's go Cause I mean, if you think about it, about 12, one o'clock, if it's sunny outside, you're gonna want to just soak up the sun like you're a plant, you know? Photosynthesis. Yes. yes. I, however, like to dress in layers so that I'm comfortable not just at <laughs> two o'clock in the afternoon, I'm comfortable all day. And I can stay for the fireworks cause I'm not super cold. So, um, don't leave your Northern gear at home if you're coming on a winter holiday. Just bring a couple things. You don't need to bring your snow boots, uh, but you do need to bring maybe some gloves. Um, this is my Fargo hat. Boy, in that case. It covers my ears. Or bring some earmuffs. Here's my Ravenclaw scarf. And then, when it's really, really serious, there's my heavy winter coat that I brought from up north. <laughs> this is really the only cold thing like snow accessory that I've kept because when you're cold and you're wet and you know you're gonna be hot later, it, you don't wanna fluctuate temperature too much or you'll get sick, so. So, it, it's funny sometimes you can tell who's Floridian and who's not because it'll be like 50 degrees outside. You'll see Floridians in like these heavy jackets, pants, long sleeve, but then you get somebody that's coming from Wisconsin and then they're, they're wearing like, like wow. shorts, shirt, the this best weather ever. Lovely weather, right? <laughs> I'd say definitely start looking at the weather like at least a week in advance, just so that we kind of get an idea of how it's going to turn out on that week you do arrive. That was for the winter. Um, in the springtime, you're thinking, wow, we're gonna go to Orlando. Let's bring all of my shorts that I've been saving for hot girl summer. Uh, let's bring all the cool muscle tanks let's let's uh let's bring all the flip-flops and then you get here and one night it drops down to 55 and you're like oh no this is not the hot girl summer i planned on <laughs> i'm cold <laughs> so spring is gonna be probably like march april early may if you're coming during our spring bring one or two pair of pants um probably just one pair honestly and a sweater zip your hoodie um unless you want to buy a souvenir here Ooh. buy yourself a hoodie or oh, like one of those pants called they got the zippers on them where you can like oh yeah zip remember in like 2002 <laughs> when it was like cargo shorts but you could zip on the rest of the pants yeah those really should kind of those, those should come back those are functional I honestly that's functional should. outerwear especially for florida yeah <laughs> same thing for the fall um our fall time tends to be october november december ish so during the day it's gonna be hot it can be hot during December and then at night you might hit that 50, 55 degrees. So bring that one pair of pants, bring that sweater, but look at the weather because we're gonna have a cold snap that week and it's gonna be that weird week where it's like only a high of 65. You know, like, bring two pairs. <laughs> like only a high. <laughs> and the most important thing to know from June through November is it's hurricane season. Just keep an ear out for the forecast. If you hear of a tropical storm in the Gulf, um, a tropical storm in the Atlantic, anything with a track projected towards this way, just keep, not stay on high alert. It's okay. Yeah, don't don't freak out. Don't just. freak out. Um, <laughs> some of the best times here at the parks are when nobody's here because they're like, oh no, a hurricane. But mm -hmm. it's just a category one and we're just getting the outskirts of the bands and it's just a storm. So. Yeah, so. 
Majority of the time it does go around us. Yeah, um, I mean, we're, we are an hour, hour and a half from each coast. Mm -hmm. So right in the middle of the state of Florida, yes, we're going to get, as the hurricane spins, we're going to get those outer bands of wind and rain. Tropical Most storm, hard. category <laughs> one, they're like, meh. If it's category two and it, the eye of the storm is projected to go right over us, like, mm. or near us, <clears throat> close, <laughs> then they might be like, oh, um, let's take all the outdoor vendors out for the day. Mm -hmm. um, category three, four, and the eye is going to go right over us again. There might be, either. you know, the outdoor rides are probably just going to be, hey, this is closed all day. Don't plan on getting on Velocicoaster. <laughs> Um, yeah, the indoor rides that. should still be good, uh, but category five projected to go right over us. Probably gonna close the yeah, at least for a few hours, and then they might. What I've seen them do in the past is, you know, just a couple hours of cleanup in the parks to clear the streets, and then they're open again. So we hope these tips have helped you plan your mm -hmm. vacation. Um, thank you so much for coming home with us for a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you uh, see us in the parks, say hi. Yeah. We love talk. <laughs> <laughs> we love to see you guys. Uh, we hope you have a really great trip. And if you have any questions, let us know. We always answer comments down below. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to do daily videos. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to that. Please help us reach our goal. <laughs> yes. We really love to get on that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for checking with us. And we'll see you real soon. Bye.